flex. You're a funk flex. Everybody done came up there to get bombs dropped on their shit and, and the rap on your platforms and you, nigga. But see, that's what's wrong and why the shit won't grow and why the South and the West and the, 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 the Detroit and all them niggas, they, my, everywhere else is winning and having long ass infinite runs that don't end. Because niggas fuck what they own. You know what I'm saying? Like, New York and shit, my opinion, man. Y'all got to get them old niggas up out the way, like Flex and them niggas, man. Y'all mean them gatekeepers that, that y'all got up there, man, that's that's trying to dictate, like, who, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Good thing I don't need y'all niggas because if I needed y'all niggas, y'all niggas would be fake stifling my growth. Y'all don't play my shit. Sus one, you got on Wendy Williams show, nigga, on primetime TV, nigga, and, like, say it what you said. Flex, you, every chance you get, you... You said that. You got to stand on that. Which, you didn't, like, shit on us. Like, I want to make that clear. Goose, you know what I'm saying? So what I told you when I saying like, oh, shit, he ain't saying nothing wrong, shit. That's, that ain't his motion. He don't listen to that shit. But it's like, what do you listen to then, bro? <laughs> it's clear what you listen to. You want to dick ride the niggas who lit and popular in the club and, you know, all that shit, nigga. That's what y'all niggas do. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. We got to get rid of y'all niggas, man. Let some new, new young, new young tapped in, really tapped in with the streets ass niggas be the DJs and run that shit up there at Hot 97, nigga, and all that shit. And I love Hot 9. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, all them niggas up there, Ebro, everybody, like I fuck with all that. Hot 97, I really take that shit and run with it sometimes, bro. Fuck you get on there talking about me for it, man. When you know nigga not like niggas not fucking with me anyway. Let's I mean, can we admit the facts? Point them out, bruh. Point point niggas out, my nigga. Y'all know niggas not fucking with Griselda on no day. Conway, Benny, Westside Gun. On no day. We ain't never even seen this before. I know, because, nigga, the clan told me, nigga, Raekwon, my big brother, nigga. Now, you know what y'all niggas doing? <laughs> you feel me? Buster. Yo, y'all niggas, this, that's y'all niggas doing it right. Ho, all them niggas. But it's weirdos, like you weirdo DJ niggas, and y'all niggas think that y'all run New York, nigga. Y'all is lame and clowns. I hate motherfucking the media. I hate you DJ niggas. Not all of them. I fuck with the DJs. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, just some of y'all niggas in New York City, man. Y'all niggas be just doing weirdo shit, bro. Like, that's why y'all niggas, like, for real, man. Y'all got to move out the way, man. Let some of them young tapped in niggas that's really outside, really in the clubs, really tapped in, really know the new. Y'all not even looking for new ill niggas. <laughs> Y'all don't even looking for new ill niggas. Y'all don't even know who who new and hot right now, up and coming. Yo, nah, check that nigga out. Them niggas over there making noise in Brooklyn. Yo, what's this nigga over there? Such and such in the Bronx. Niggas making crazy noise, nigga. <laughs> Y'all niggas don't even know who next. Y'all don't even look for that. Y'all just want to dick ride who popular, who now. Y'all can't wait for future and them niggas to come to town so y'all can take pictures and be in them niggas sections with y'all phone out videoing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas gotta get out the way, man. Real talk, man. Real. One. Alright, so Conway is dropping bombs. So Conway was on his um his live on Instagram. He's usually on there like playing music. Sometimes I go in and out because I don't wanna hear the music prematurely, but he was playing music and then he just went on his rant. And he's going in on Flex and Hot 97 and how they don't really support that certain gutter, grimy New York music like they once did in their glory days, which is true. Um, you know, like A Boogie gets radio play now, but because he kind of sold out, I mean, he's doing all that auto tune. But if you ain't really with the modern sound, they not playing you. They play top 40 music now. And 
You know, I remember Ebro likes to like blame 50 for the demise of New York hip hop, but it's like, dude, you was the program director. Like, you from the Bay. You was playing all that Southern hip hop and not giving a few artists from New York a chance to get their music played. Now, as far as Flex, Flex and his attitude towards Griselda is kind of funny because so many legends from the 90s did Griselda. Nas, Hove, uh, I mean, I think they under Rock Nation now. Um, Buster, Pete Rock, DJ Premier, I mean, all everybody, Kanye, everybody has embraced them and has anointed them. And Flex just, I mean, when they went up there and did that interview, that, that freestyle over the Dynasty beat, they killing it. And Flex is trying so hard not to give it up. And you, you know it's that five-barrel bias because if they was from the Bronx, if they was from Uptown or Queens or Brooklyn or any, he would have been drooling all over them. You know, he would have gave them some some credit, like the way you, you give it up for Casanova, the way you give it up for Pop Smoke, the way he give it up for Don Q. He don't, Dave East, on and on. He don't do that for them. Now, I'm sorry, but th what they are doing is way more special than what anybody is doing right now in the five boroughs. I mean, when I first heard about Griselda in like 2017, I found out it was from Buffalo. It actually made me more interested. I was like, okay, that's different. I don't know nobody from Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see what they talking about. You know what I mean? Because I, I know a million niggas from Brooklyn and Queens that rap. Like, okay, it's the same old shit. We've been saying this forever. A lot of y'all just want to be like y'all from Atlanta anyway. And here come these niggas from Buffalo rapping like New York rappers should rap. And Hot 97 don't really p push that kind of New York rap no more. And it's sad. It's sad. You know what I mean? If you ain't trying to sound like Future or Migos or, you know, uh, Roddy Rich or something like that, they ain't fucking with you. You know, and, and don't get me wrong, like underground cats, they take pride in that shit and being the gutter cats that's giving the gutter dudes they, they tunes and helping niggas in the, in, in the joint get through their day. But at some point as a human, you want that validation for the work that you do. You want credit. You want to be appreciated. So you could tell he was frustrated because, yeah, they, the Griselda should be way more popular than they are. I mean, one year, uh, BET Awards, the Hip Hop Awards had the best hip hop category and Migos won over Griselda, and they didn't even put an album out that year. Like, it, like it's crazy. You know, don't get me wrong. They never, they, they don't do club records, so they'll never be as popular as like Amigos or something, but still. You know, like, where are we, are we gonna start judging music for what it really is? Or are we just gonna, if it ain't popular or something girls could shake their ass to, or, you know, like, that's that's not real music. That's fast food. That's disposable music. Some of these albums that come out these days, you listen to that shit for like a weekend, and then by Tuesday, you forget about it. A lot of this shit out here is fast food. It's chicken nuggets and fries. And these niggas are serving full-course meals. You know what I mean? Like, they revived my enthusiasm because I was done with this rap shit from the commercial spot. And then they, they kind of revived me because I was, like, just listening to underground shit anyway. But yeah, Con Conway called Flex out on his bullshit. <laughs> yeah, everybody know Flex is Flex used to be that cool uncle in the nineties that we liked. Now he's that that grumpy uncle that we don't care for no more. Everybody is waiting to put him in the home. So and, and he's been there for like thirty years. He's the longest tended employee. He still punches in. He's got a badge to get in the building. Everyone's left. Star's gone, Miss Jones is gone, Envy left, Angie left, and he's still there. Miss Info, I mean, I could name the whole old roster. Everybody's gone, he's still there. Dropping bombs, I'm like, come on. Like, it's time to move on, new blood, because Conway was right. It's a lot of cats that's coming up that's, that's dope from all over, let alone New York, and they not playing Mac Hami and... Some of these, they're not playing these cats. They don't, Action Bronson, they don't play these cats on the radio, man. They play a lot of silly shit. They playing Lizzo and, and, and Young Mommy and all this dumb shit. City Girls, Meg Thee Stallion, Gunna and, 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 and Baby, just silly shit. So, yeah, I'm, I expect Flex, Flex is a kid, so I expect Flex to have a full response in the next 24 hours. 
he might drop 17 bombs in the first two minutes, but you know what it is. Well, let me know what y'all think about Conway and his rant on Funk Flex and Hot 9-7.